Mike Jones here with Ken's. My brother Kenny and I own Ken's Stereo Junction. We got one in Macon and one in Warner Robins. We got about 25 guys and gals that do what? They work for you. We love to serve you. You're going to love this show. We got an international truck that you're not going to be able to believe. We got big bass. We got big sound. We got a big living room. We got church. We got security cameras. It is awesome. Let's get inside and check it all out. We are now Sundown Audio dealers. Now they make amplifiers and subs. And for you folks that are Sundown Audio fanatics, you already know what they do. But we got this line encountered in the competitive side of the DS18 line that we carry as well. And they make a 2,000 watt amp, a 2,500 watt amp, and a 12,000 watt amplifier. That's right, I said 12,000. And pricing wise, check this out. That's 2,000 watts for 379 bucks. Now they make 12s, 12 bigger. 15 and this honking 18. That's right. So if you're a big base head, Sundown Audio is on fire. Again, anywhere from about 330 bucks all the way to ready for this $461. And look at this man. Look at this mammoth right here. 18 inch. And if you're one of those guys that doesn't or gals that doesn't do the base, then this is not your world. But this is where Sundown Audio is coming to the store here. We're gonna have a demo vehicle where you can come in and get your base on. They absolutely kill it. So. DS18 on fire on shelves. You see these stacks go from here to here quite often. So please come and look at DS18 and Sundown Audio. Now, over here is Mids and Highs, and when you come into our Macon and our Warner Robins location, you're gonna see Sony ES. There's a Sony line and then there's ES. That's their other their top level Mids and Highs. You're gonna see Alpine Type S and Type R. You're gonna see JL Audio. You're gonna see Pioneer, Rock for Fosky. And we keep all Audio Frog. We keep all of those in stock and on our display. So when you come in, you'll be able to kind of say, hey, what fits my car? Well, 6 by 9 Well, guess what? They're, 6 by 9s are $149 to $349, depending on which one you get. But they hold anywhere from 200 to 500 watts of power, and you need that if you're going to put a subwoofer in the car. Or if you're just saying, hey, I just recently I was talking to my buddy Lee. He said, I don't really need a lot of slamming bass, but I want good mid bass. So we're going to do all Alpine mids and highs and an Alpine amplifier in his Toyota Tacoma. We're doing that just, just coming up very, very shortly. I'm going to try to put it on the show to give you an idea. Hey, this is what it sounds like without a sub. You know, this is what it sounds like with a sub. So when you go into Macon and Warner Robins, talk to the Brainiacs and let them kind of pick what works for you mids and highs. Changing out a pair of speakers is the sim simplest thing you can do for the biggest effect, even a factory speaker, just pulling that out and putting in a replacement Alpine or ES, it is absolutely spot on. So talk to the guys, got a little demo where you can come in and play your music and make sure you get what you want. And guess what? Unless there's modifications needed, it's free installation. This is what we do. When you go into making in Warner Robins, you know, we have a, a kind of matching displays. And, and I talk about these specials a lot because I want to let you know we constantly are buying product to make sure you get the best deal you can. Now, in the realm of it, there are two ways to put a radio in your car, right? So you're going to be able to do what you call a double den like this. A double den is normally a touch screen. This will have uh, Android Auto CarPlay, which means you can plug your phone in and it kind of becomes your phone. You know, it shows your phone as a display. And when you come in to get uh, one of the radios, they'll kind of show you these. If you just say, hey, I just want Bluetooth. Well, believe it or not, a Bluetooth touch screen radio and an, and an Android Audio or, uh, or, or, or uh, Apple CarPlay radio they're the same price now. So for $399, you can get everything built in, and it has a backup camera input, and it has an equalizer, and it has a 200 watt amp. So there's some amazing parts like harnesses and kits you might need, but for $399, that's an absolute smoking deal. A lot of times now in the vehicles, people say, I've got room for what they call a floating radio. The floating radios are like this and like this. You know, those floating radios are anywhere from a thousand bucks and up, and you're like, whoa, listen, you're talking about a nine or a 10 inch screen that's full touch with EQ amplifier. You can add subwoofers to it, backup camera, anything you want. But just kind of give you an idea, this size screen in a BMW is $5,000. It's five thousand dollars, not fifteen hundred dollars. So when you come in, just kind of you can kind of plug your phone in, or this one's now wireless connected. So what is Android Auto? What is CarPlay? That is your phone. Instead of riding down the road, you can use your. This is this is now my phone, so I can go through my phone without having to hold it in my hand since that's illegal and against the law. I got my maps that can all come up. I mean, it's really simple. My messages, maps, anything I want to do, and it will answer to Siri uh, as well. So this is really nice thing to do with either whether you have an Android phone. Or an Apple CarPlay. So when you come in, you can play and touch and sniff and whatever you got to do, but we can help you pick all this out. This is a nice place to go, and then this is a nice place to go. So when you come in and talk to the guys, find what will fit in your vehicle. Every vehicle is so very different. And some of them have really odd shaped speakers, especially if you have Bose or Harman Kardon. And we have the adapters in stock 
to make sure that all of these will fit without modifying the car and just screwing a bunch of holes in your car and all that kind of stuff. So when you come in, look at mids and highs, look at a head unit if your car is a, a car that will take a head unit, and then think about base. Now when you do base, I'm just going to show you, this is a big subwoofer box, you don't have to be big. But the idea behind these is when you put a 10 or a 12 in what they call a vented enclosure, it creates a tremendous amount of sound. So whether you do a full mill deal or you just do a head unit or just do mids and highs, we have it in stock and we do our own installation and guess what? And we service it after the sale. This is what we do. Okay, now in the world of Yamaha, they make a app that's built into their amplifiers called MusicCast. MusicCast and Sonos kind of battle one another as to having full on control. And what MusicCast is, is it takes all of your apps and drops them into one MusicCast zone. And what that is, is like your Spotify and iHeartRadio and everything you listen to, Pandora or whatever, the Apple Music. And it puts them all into one as a conglomerate where you're not having to dial through all your different apps. That's number one. That's built into the Vintage amplifiers for Yamaha. So now I can play my music from my phone, not Bluetooth. I don't want you to misunderstand that because sometimes Bluetooth has its limitations from a distance standpoint. With this, it connects to your Wi-Fi. Now, so now I've got control of my music and with these amplifiers, you can have a zone for your surround sound and then you can have a zone for your outdoor speakers because it has two zones. It allows me to play my music cast out outside. I'm trying not to get too uh, wound up here, but it's nice because now I can listen to the Doobie Brothers outside while I'm inside watching the ball game at the same time, or I can just play music everywhere. Now, the idea behind this is now I have speakers mounted to my house, I have speakers in my theater, everything's working like it's supposed to. We have a lot of folks that will come in, especially folks that like live in, in, in the downtown areas where houses are 150 years old, and you can't necessarily cut into the plaster sometimes or get into the attic sometimes because of that's what the houses were built, and they do what they call floater speakers. Now, these speakers are music cast speakers that allow you to connect to your system. Number one, what it will do is, like sometimes I can put these down into the floor or we can hide them up in the cabinets, and it has unbelievable sound quality, and this becomes a Wi-Fi music cast zone. So now I can have a zone in my dining room. I can hide these wherever I need to hide them. I can have them on my back porch. And I can have my surround sound. And I can have one that floats in my kitchen or goes into my bathroom or whatever. Guess what else it will do? It has a bracket on the back here where I can mount these as a rear surround sound for my music cast amplifier. So now it can be a rear surround sound, a floater speaker, or a music speaker, or guess what else? It has it's even more. For $250 now, it has Bluetooth. So guess what I can do? Take this with me to the beach. And now I've got a way to play this at my vacation house or wherever you wherever you rent your place at, and you can put this up and now it has Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, which is very, very rare to have both for 249 bucks. So when you come in and talk to uh, the guys and gals in the Making a Warm store, you know, you kind of want to make sure, hey, what is my what, what is the you know what is my future build here? I may just want to start with a receiver today, but I do want to have sound on my porch or out by my pool, or I do want to have speakers in my kitchen. I've got two in my kitchen, one on each end of the kitchen that are kind of just tucked in behind the cookie jars, and it's nice because I like to play music for my dog. I know that sounds really really weird, but I do it every single day, and I use the Wi-Fi side of it. But I can pick this thing and walk outside in my garage and use the Bluetooth side. So when you come in, like I said, anywhere from about. 500 bucks on 500 bucks and up on amplifiers depending on how big you want 250 for this and if you just said hey i don't want to deal with all that picking stuff out there's my phone number i will come out or i'll get one of my guys to come out and we will plan a system to make sure it works for you the estimate uh, is free this is what we do okay 2022 ford bronco love 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 these vehicles and of course the more people finally start to take delivery of them they're starting to realize how much ford didn't exactly hit it on the nail with the speakers. Now, as this dash designed, as you can tell, you cannot replace your factory radio at this moment. Full touch screen, all your controls are down here, kind of like the Dodge vehicles are. And it's, got, it's nice and it works, it's got CarPlay and all that stuff. But the sound quality is very mediocre to say the very least. The speakers, I'm, I'm hoping I can get you a cutaway of the speakers, but if not, they're basically paper cone 15 watt drivers. They have a speaker that goes in the dash. They have a speaker that goes down here in the kick pod. They have, I'm sure you've seen a cutaway of the, the roll bar in the back. There's actually a speaker, a small speaker that fires up over the back of the rear passengers. And then we did this amazing custom uh, enclosure from DS18 that goes in the rear door. Yes, I said rear door. We have two amplifiers, one on base that comes in the package and one four channel that runs all the highs. The blessing of this is by using DS18 speakers and putting them in place and Rockford Fosgate subs, you get people that have been around the block a couple of times and know what it takes to keep clarity at a high when you don't have your top on, because there's gonna be a moment when you're riding down the road with your top off going 75 miles an hour and you wanna be able to hear your radio. With the current factory product, what was in here before this, it's, you couldn't do it, it was just terrible. As a matter of fact, you couldn't do it with the top up. Now, listen, I'm gonna give you a little demo. 
The clarity is absolutely spot on. speaker in these it's not an exact fit there are brackets that have to be made there's just pieces that have to make to make sure it fits and, and, and literally snaps in like a factory speaker that way if i do use my bronco as it was intended in the mud and get all nutty 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 crazy this stuff can withstand the abuse of weather and time and people going crazy and of course riding out the music good gracious to lie that's not nice. now come in you talked like he came in and said hey i got a brand new bronco we'd already done a couple of them but he said i really want highs but i need to make sure that i can still use this as my four by four everything is locked down and loaded all the amplifiers are hidden so you can't get wet if you get caught in the rain or is out there in the mud and the idea behind this speakers anywhere from a hundred dollars to three hundred dollars for a pair depending on what you do subs anywhere from 150 to 400 dollars depending on which subs you do amplifiers 200 dollars and up depending on what you do and if you don't get crazy custom there's not crazy labor charges but if you want to get really, 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 really crazy with it, we can handle that as well. So let's go to the back of the vehicle so I can show you this sub enclosure that DS18 made specifically for the 2022 Bronco. Awesome. Check this out. This is DS18's answer to the Ford Bronco. It mounts to the vehicle, mounts like literally to the vehicle. I love this enclosure. Guess what? You can bang up on it, nothing's gonna damage it. And I just dig the fact that you can have it lit up or not lit up. That is two 10 inch shallows, because you can see it's such a thin box, but it's made for that. And then literally, they designed this entire enclosure to be able to take full damage and lighting. And guess what? It holds 500 watts. 2022 Ford Bronco. You got your subs, you saw the cutaway of the rear speakers, you got highs, you got mids, and you got a ton of power, and you got Kins. This is what we do. All right, we are at Max Fitness in Warner Robins where we're doing sound and TV and HD security cameras and lighting, and it is going to be amazing. Let's get inside and check it all out. We came out to do video. We came out to do LED lighting. We'll get into that in the show here in a little bit. We came out here to do sound, and then we came out here to do TVs, and we came out here to do cameras. Now, this is the camera part of this show because I need you to understand, we do a lot of commercial buildings, and commercial buildings need to have pretty much as much as you can see nook and cranny-wise, like all the details, but you from, you have it from a liability standpoint, from a safety, from a security standpoint, there's so much that goes into it. So here we are, we have uh, you know dozens and dozens and dozens of cameras. Now, the idea is every camera is chosen based on what it's trying to see. So if I want to see the parking lot, I need to be able to see the grid of the parking lot. You can actually read the logo. This is easily 100 plus feet. I know F-150, you know, all these, there's my Scion right there, uh, F-150 Jeep. I mean, and it's cool because you can see the details in case they had somebody get crazy enough to come break in and you got, you know, dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of cameras. There's another parking lot here that has a grass area, like people can walk their dogs. This is the back area right here where parking is, sometimes employees and stuff. Dodge Challenge, right here, Acura and Dodge Challenge. I mean, it's just amazing, the clarity. Now, that is long range, called verifocal, 50 millimeters is what they do. It's just like zoom type lens. But if I need to see the pool, I may need a wide angle, but I need to see the steps in case somebody uh, slipped and got hurt or something like that. i got to have this for safety and liability, right? Keep keep looking. Look at this. Here's one of the aerobic rooms. Look at the detail. This was specifically made to see from here to here, 38 feet, and I can still see the door where people are coming in. You can see the grids of the tile. Look, I mean, you can see the fingerprints on the mirror. That's absolutely uh, phenomenal. Now, looking back around, you got to be able to see anything and everything. Here we are in our equipment closet. Guess what? If somebody comes in here, there's Cody. There I am. There we are doing our thing, right? Coming back around. All these areas have cozy, have cameras chosen specifically for them. Little giant area right here of safety right here. This is their bike class. Again, 38 feet, you gotta be able to see. I gotta see my door, I gotta see my equipment rack. There's some of the new lighting that we've installed. But the idea is it works in day or night. Again, lots of wire has to be ran and everything has to be really exact when you're trying to pick these locations. Now, the idea is when they called me, and the guys that own this, the brothers that own this called me, they said, can you come out? I came out, here's my phone number, it's going to come up right here. I came out and we walked this whole building off to take an old camera system that was failing to put in a, a modern uh, camera system that they can watch from their computers, from their iPads, their tablets, their phones, and most of all, it has a massive hard drive. How big? 16 terabytes per recorder, 32 terabytes. So they can get a month and a half 
a viewing in case something did come up missing or somebody can't, you know, just things happen and we can go back and look at that. The blessing of this is the on-site warranty with us. I'm sure you've seen cutaways of all the different camera locations now. The on-site warranty with us is two years on-site unconditional. So custom HD security camera systems can fit any budget, any size, no matter what. I mean, we do a two camera system and we do a 60 camera system. Again, there's my phone number. The estimate is free. We'll design the system, HD security, and Ken's. This is what we do. Upstairs in their uh, their cycle room, as you can tell, it's their cycle room. But the idea is we outline the glass and the mirrors with this LED lighting. It's nice because it's a different strand of LED lighting. It's super, super bright from a 4K standpoint. One of them allows us to see I can go through different colors that you see we're changing now. Anything I want to do, it works perfectly. It's nice. Also, if you'll turn around, you see that that's moved together. If you look on the outside right there, I can change those constantly to whatever I need them to be. It's so nice how simple that light can turn. Now, coming back around here, then I can also make these either beat with the music if I chose to put in that model, or I can just put it into what they call a rainbow effect, where it just consistently cycles through different colors. So every cycle, every, every uh, color of the rainbow. The coolest about this is this remote control works throughout the building. So we're doing a room called the push room down there. We did their sign. I'm sure you see the cutaway of their uh, their logo sign when you come in the foyer right now. And then this. And the idea is we come out, our teams come out, we run power where power needs to be. And into the day, you get this really cool you know deal that goes all the way through that allows me to literally be any single code that I want it to be. Now, we back this up. Here's my phone number that comes up right here. I will come out to your home. A lot of the kids now have their own gaming stations and game rooms and we'll do LED lighting light in the trim work. We'll come out and I'll do an assessment, a design, and then we'll send our crew. This particular room took about six and a half hours to ten hours total once we got the front piece of glass done. So we, we come out and kind of bring a crew of two, three, four, or five, or whatever it takes to get everything. It's a max fitness in Warner Robins. This gym is absolutely amazing. And this cycle room is absolutely ready for you to sweat. This is what we do. 1954 chassis international flatbed truck. Now I'm letting you know, I'm sure you see the cutaway of the outside made. Now this is beautiful, completely restored as you can see. Chassis is perfect, everything is perfect. But and believe it or not, in 1954, they weren't thinking about a big sound system. So this gentleman comes and says, I want big sound in my 1954 international flatbed truck. And of course we took care of that. Here we go, Alpine single den AM FM CD with Bluetooth, this allows us to do wirelessly for our music, wirelessly for my phone calls. It also has a thumb drive right here. If you want to put your music on a thumb drive, you can drop them in right there. This by itself has a 200 watt amplifier built into it, but it's not enough to put your subwoofer. So what we did is took the chassis apart, not the chassis, but put the seats and everything out and said, hey, first of all, we got to have speakers in the door. So we took the factory plates out, which is here, and which was there, we built our own plates to put in a two-way Rockford Cosby 250-watt, six-and-a-half-inch speaker. And that way, that plate could go back in if I ever had to. Now, behind the seat, we've got big power, six by nine. So again, 200 watts of power there and a 300-watt, eight-inch powered subwoofer. Again, everything fits. He still can use it as a 1954 international flatbed truck. However, now when he's riding, as you can hear, this thing is running as loud. And now, he has got massive... chassis were metal here you don't really have a place to put your Bluetooth mic so we mounted the Bluetooth mic here to the chassis here he can still use it when he's riding down the road but it's not hanging off right here because I don't really have a place to put it really nice genius way that our guys did the installation there all the wires are tucked everything is serviceable and bada bing bada bang now I'm telling you man you come in and let these brainiacs design the system you got Alpine you got Robert Fogg lots of power Nothing showing, everything crystal clear, easy to use for servicing. Now, time-wise, everybody always time-wise. He was on a crunch because he wants to put this back in his collector's uh, museum garage that he has. And he says, I need this done in a day. So our head guy came in and spent 10 hours solid to put this 1954 International Flatbed right to perfection. Listen, I just keep going up. Alpine, Rockford, Bob Day, Kim, this is what we did.
All right, now in the world of Samsung, they make uh, their, their frame TVs, or I call them art TVs, because why? Because that looks exactly like a piece of art to me. They come in these decor frames that come in different colors. You can go on their website or our website to look at these so you can kind of keep a decor look. It's not just a black frame. It comes with a black frame, but you can get gold and brass and white and all the things. But how unbelievable is that artwork? Now, this coupled with the fact that we did clip speakers, these are eight inch clip speakers, and oddly enough, we were gonna paint these to match, but when we put this white speaker on this gray wall, it literally, blended absolutely perfect. We have in ceiling speakers back here, flushed in again, these are white magnetic grills, and this kind of allows them to have full surround sound. We have a subwoofer and all that stuff, all the equipment located in a closet in another room. The idea behind this is, I can have this piece of art in here, you can put your family photos up, anything you want, but the idea is, it can stay on 24 seven if you choose for it to, and it will not burn in. Now you say, well how does it do that with well, TVs have burn in? It has micro uh, lens p uh, uh, pixels in here, and they're consistently moving it such a slow rate that your eyes and brains can't pick out on it so that it cannot ever have burn in. So this awesome view of, I'm hoping somebody's going on vacation there. Now, when I get done with that, check it out. You're going to love this. It just goes back to being just a regular television. Is that completely, completely crazy? So here's all my smart features, anything I want to do, I've got built in Hulu, YouTube TV, anything I want to do goes back to being a regular television from the artwork. The idea behind this is a lot of times a decorator will say, please, please don't put a TV above your fireplace. Well, Samsung says, yeah, go ahead and put a TV above your fireplace because it can be Italy, it can be France, it can be us on vacation and be artwork and still be um, our TV. It does take some time because this comes with a mount that literally takes the TV. I'm sure you're seeing a cutaway or maybe he's leaning that way. This thing sits flush against the wall. And it's like a lot of wall mounts that sit out about three inches. This literally sits flush. So I can't get my fingers in between it, right? So we put this, it has what they call a data cable. And the data cable allows us to remote locate the power somewhere else. So no fuss, no bust, no nothing. It's just all absolutely perfect. So look, how, I mean, literally, this is absolutely perfection that you can have a TV there's an absolute piece of art. Now we carry every size, they make 55, uh, 65, 75, 85, so you can come in and we normally have them in stock, clip speakers, we normally have them in stock, and guess what, I'm gonna have my phone number come up right here, that's what happens, we come out to the house, we address what your needs and what your budget is, then we get our boys to come in, bada bing, bada bang, perfection. This is what we do. Hey, we are at Macon Memorial Funeral Home, of course, in, in Macon, Georgia, and they entrusted us to do all of their viewing rooms and their chapel and really just high-tech them to the high-tech gift, if you want to say it that way. So we've done streaming, digital sound, overflow. It is amazing. Let's get inside and check it all out. All right, we are at Macon Memorial in Macon, Georgia. You're actually seeing me on the HD robotic camera that we installed for them that allows them to do there, all of the, you know, because so, so many times now you'll have a funeral, and since COVID, it even got bigger than that, where people were at home or on the other side of the United States or on the other side of the world, and now they can view the funeral for a loved one uh, through their Facebook Live. So that robotic, as you see back there, is mounted above the door. That it gives them, and, you'll, and you're probably seeing a cutaway of the joystick. There's a joystick that allows them to zoom in, zoom out. If they have a soloist, the whole camera is com completely robotic. Now, that's step one for the folks that get to be on the outside of it. Now, for the inside, we have monitors up on the walls here. And right now, you're seeing the camera, but you're probably seeing a cutaway now because we can put whatever slide. So a lot of times when the family's coming in, we'll have uh, the rolling uh, photos of, you know, of, 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 this, of this family's life. Uh, you know, and it's just a beautiful thing when it all kind of goes through the slides up here and announcements and everything can be put up here. We've got a podium mic up here and they also have a couple of wireless mics. It's very specific. You gotta have a nice podium mic. You gotta have a lapel. You need to have a soloist mic and you have to have everything in place, but you have to have plenty of room for people, right? So that's why we didn't do speakers on the wall. And you'll see we flush speakers in the ceiling in this tray all the way down and the idea is each one of those speakers has 158 degrees of sound disbursement that, that literally showers, if you will, everybody that's in here. So anybody that's in this chapel, those speakers kind of shower them with sound but without it being super, super hot. Check this out. Look at this and this, okay? This is when they built Macon Memorial and this is when my carpenter built their booth. Look at how well that perfectly blends. Even the trim, every bit of this, is all this is brand new. You're seeing a cutaway of the booth now. And the idea behind this is we needed it to stay, you know, through the traditional look uh, of the funeral. Another thing you got here, check this out. I'm going to pull this apart. This gives us full control of everything. So I can control my streaming from the booth. I control all of my sound from here. And guess what else? 
You can preset all these, so if somebody comes in here and goofs around, you can hit one button because it'll be five minutes before you're fixing to open up into the chapel, and it all goes right back to its memory preset, so you cannot mess up the settings on the sound. This is great for funeral home, but it's really, really also great uh, for churches. End of the day, you know, when you come through here, it has to be nice and clean. Right now you're seeing a cutaway of the other rooms and the foyer because there are other viewing rooms around there, and sometimes you'll want to be able to throw messages up here, but with a matrix, we put a matrix in here, it allows us to have have eight different sources going to eight different TVs. So I can send this signal of you know me in here to everything in the whole place. Or I can come in here and throw fo you know photographs of the family in one, photographs of a different family in two, photographs in the foyer, or a message a pad up there in the front that tells what time the funeral starts. It just makes it really simple. And this being ground zero, everything works right here. So literally a one-man team can control it all. So Macon Memorial uh, in, in Macon, Georgia, best brands in the business, and Ken's, we got them ready to, to serve the families the right way. This is what we do. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you for watching this show. I'm very grateful for the 28 minutes and 30 seconds that you take of your time to watch all the cool stuff that we get to do. You know, we have a store in Macon and we have a store in Warner Robins. Uh, we were started in 1978 by my dad. Just to give you a little background there. My dad and my uncle started, me and my brother own uh, the company. Our, our sons are being raised up in the company as well. Now, you'll see both my phone number and my brother's phone number come up right here. Why is that important? Well, that is important because if you have an issue that's good, please tell me so I can I can reward those that did good. If you have a, an issue or, or, or something that didn't happen exactly like, like we wanted to, I say this every single month, just shoot me a text or call me and give me an opportunity to make it right. So often people will go, boom, 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 social media, everybody death, and you didn't even get a chance to make it right because we are human beings and we will goof, and that's just a fact. There is our social media. We know what's going on there. You can go to our YouTube channel. You can go to our Instagram or our Facebook and follow us and get on there. We have daily specials. That way you can stay connected, and the idea behind that is just like, well, I've already bought, you know, I buy a home theater once every 10 years from Ken's. Well, that's not the point. The point is so that you can look and see all the neat ideas that all of our clients have. So many times I will be in front of somebody and they go, well, what if we did this? And I'll go, that is a phenomenal idea, and then we'll draw it all out and get with the Brainiacs, and they'll, they'll build it. So please invest in coming to visit one of our stores. Let's say you don't want to do that. One more time, there's my phone number that comes up. All the estimates and design are free. I do the entire state of Georgia, and a little bit, we just got into South Carolina, and we're uh, kind of hitting in that area, and a little bit of Florida. We don't get too far out there because I have to be able to service you in a, you know, in a timely process, So, but I am very grateful that that, that, that reputation has kind of grown over the, over the years, over 44 years, as a matter of fact. Uh, so I, I'll I always leave with this. I always leave scripture out there, and, and I want you to hear me through. If you got this far, you're almost there. Uh, in John 5, 8, and 9, uh, Jesus tells him, he says, pick up your mat. There's, a, there's this gentleman who's been an invalid. He's 38 years in the same spot. If you know the story, if you don't, just listen to me. And he is hoping for a miracle, not realizing that the miracle is standing right beside him. And Jesus says, pick up your mat and walk. He says, get up and walk and take your mat with you. The idea behind that, there, there's, a, there's a story behind it. The reason he told him to pick up his mat is so often we'll go through hard times and some reason we'll keep revisiting those hard times, keep revisiting, and we, and we have a hard time realizing that Jesus heals us, right? He said, pick up your mat and walk. In other words, don't return back to that. That way we can grow together. God is all about me and you growing in his kingdom. He loves us abundantly. Come see some Kins and make And here comes some hot rod. Here comes one of them mere muscle cars. All right, we have now become sound down. <laughs> this is when he called and said, I think I need to refresh my technology. 